Hey guys, so I have some awesome information about the compound bow in terms of stats and features. I want to firstly thank a Reddit user which I spoke to and he showed me how he found out the stats and whatnot. If you want to check him out on Reddit, I'll post a link to his profile in the description. So let's go over the attachments and then I'll talk more about the general features of the compound bow later in the video. First of all, we have the broadhead arrow type. Its description is, Broadheads provide a balance in range and damage. After doing some real life research, the broadhead arrow tip is used for hunting and usually has four sharp blades that cause massive bleeding. So obviously this will be the main offensive arrow type and as we can see on the image on the left, this is the battle log stats of the compound bow with the broadhead arrow type. It apparently will have 100 damage but there's no information on its damage drop off. For all we know it might do 100 damage at any range, however you'll notice it looks like it only has very very limited range. If you look at its range stat it says 15 which sounds like it's only going to work in close quarters and maybe some medium distances as well. You'll also notice its accuracy is pretty damn high and its hip fire is zero, which tells me you cannot get any hip fire kills with the compound bow. Obviously, you'll need to aim down sight in order to kill your target. There's a few other general stats and whatnot about the compound bow, but like I said, I'll leave it to the end of the video, seeing as those stats don't change depending on which arrow types you have equipped. We also have another arrow type called bullet point and if I read the description it says sacrifice and damage for weight reduction this arrow flies straight and true. So obviously from that statement we can safely assume the arrow type won't do as much damage as the broadhead but it will have better accuracy and will have a longer range which seems about right because we roughly notice that as we can see the bullet point will do 80 damage instead of 100 like the broadhead. So it's not going to be a one shot kill, you're going to still need to get a headshot but its range is longer at 22. I know the battle log stats are hard to go by so I'm only very roughly guessing the bullet point range will be about 100 to 180 meters, possibly even 200. And we also have explosive tip arrows, it's pretty obvious what type of arrow this is. I remember the explosive arrow tip was used in Rambo First Blood Part 2 and I can already picture someone creating a parody of this movie. So as for the description it says a small explosive arrowhead that detonates on impact, the weight of the charge greatly decreases the effective range of the weapon. Which is very true, its range is a lot lower than the other arrow types, as you can see it's 8, also its damage is 90, I'm not entirely sure why it's lower than the broadhead, but I'm guessing it's because it's 90 explosive damage rather than body damage, if anyone has any better ideas please let me know. So let's talk about some stats and features that apparently are the same when using any kind of arrow type. First of all, if you watched my previous video, I talked about seeing as the compound bow has attachments, will it end up being a primary weapon? Well, according to what I was told, I saw this for myself on his balog profile, but the compound bow takes your primary slot and the weapon can be found in the carbine category. As you can see here, the phantom weapon or the compound bow has taken the primary slot in each loadout. And if you're wondering if this is fake, well, you can check out his balog profile if you want to. He did say it's okay for me to include it in the description. Also, he told me the only attachments you can change are the arrow types and camo. The stabilizer is apparently already on the compound bow, kind of like how the ASVAL comes preloaded with a suppressor and apparently you can't change its optics from the iron sights. I'm not too sure what iron sights look like on the compound bow, but I hope it doesn't obstruct your view too much when aiming down sights. Anyway guys, I just thought I'll put this small video together. I really appreciate the Reddit user giving me this information because I know a lot of us are wondering what stats we can expect. Make sure to let me know if you're excited to use the compound bow or is it something that doesn't interest you? Leave it in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.